and with a row about the cost continuing to simmer, senior royals are unlikely to use the vessel, announced last month, for family trips either. A source close to the royal household said neither Prince of Wales nor the Duke of Cambridge cared much for what Downing Street is calling a national flagship to replace the royal yacht Britannia, scrapped in 1997. Chancellor Rishi Sunak is understood to be refusing the foot the bill for the project, and the Ministry of Defence and the Departments of Business and Trade also likewise reluctant. The inter-departmental wrangling has made Charles and William even less keen to be involved. The insider told the Sunday Times, No one wants this vessel at the palace. Charles doesn't want it. William has no interest in it. He has no interest in naval things at all. All this controversy has just put him off even more. The source added. Will they go on board to promote trade if they're in the area? Of course. But you won't get them taking it up to the west coast of Scotland like the Duke of Edinburgh used to. Mr Johnson and Mr Sunak have patched things up, with the Treasury agreeing not to complain publicly about the Prime Minister's spending priorities, and Mr Johnson in turn pledging not to announce costly projects without first talking to the Chancellor. However, one government source said the MOD's reluctance to pick up the whole £200 million tab has irked the Prime Minister. They explained, people in the MOD are asking number 10. What do you want us to scrap to pay for it? They're threatening to cut another surface vessel or some F-35 jets. Boris is furious about the whole thing. He loves the plan. Mr Johnson wants to use to ship to promote trade deals and more generally, his ambitious, global Britain, vision. Other political sources claim Mr Johnson has been told on a number of occasions the plan is a disaster in the making. Unveiling his plans last year, the Prime Minister said, this new national flagship will be the first vessel of its kind in the world, reflecting the UK's burgeoning status as a great, independent maritime trading nation. Every aspect of the ship, from its build to the businesses it showcases on board, will represent and promote the best of British, a clear and powerful symbol of our commitment to be an active player on the world stage. However, the Sunday Times claimed Queen Elizabeth is opposed to any idea of naming the ship after husband Prince Philip, who died in April at the age of 99. One senior royal source suggested it was considered to be too grand a symbol to be used by the monarchy in the modern age. It is not something we have asked for. A separate palace source added, it is a government decision. Buckingham Palace has not been involved in the decision, but we respect it.